so I can't see the chat, Twitch chat or anything, so I'll just assume that, that nobody's talking to me, which is probably a fair bet. Uh, okay, just turn the sound down a bit. <coughs> wow, I'm playing in this weird, horrible aspect ratio that looks all janky on my monitor. So that's my excuse for if I die. Uh, so this is State of Decay. Uh, it's a zombie game. Sand, you're in a sandbox. Uh, there seems to be some sort of permadeath that I haven't really worked out yet. Um, in that, the character I'm playing now is only my current character because my last one died through my own fault. Uh, all the characters seem to be unique in that they're all, you know, they all have names and backstories, and they're all. Uh, you know, none of, the, none of them are dynamically generated from what I can tell. So I'm pretty sure once a character dies, then you lose the whole storyline effectively. Which is pretty brave, really, I guess. For, the, for them to, you know, put a hell of a lot of money into, into writing the storyline and then allowing you to just... allowing the player to throw it away. Which is... I respect that. Good for them. Uh, I think it was launched on Xbox Live Arcade, if that still exists. I think that's, that's what it's still, it's still called that. Uh, cool. So yeah, as you can see by this, um, you have your base has a stockpile of resources that are drained every day by a certain amount, depending on your population and the status of all your people and that sort of stuff. So you can't just hole up and hide in a corner and Our cry to yourself. A new group of Should be on your map. Uh, random quests pop up, as you can see. Uh, sorry. Now this is kind of the area that I've explored too. The the black crosses indicate spots that I've cleared out of resources of supplies. So that's kind of the, the bottom left there is the extent that I've managed to be brave enough to venture out into and as you can see the map's quite large it's not like a, a GTA kind of scope it's also not a GTA budget I think this was a this was about 20 20 dollars US I think so it's kind of mid-range budget sort of game uh, launched on Xbox Live Arcade so it was I think it was 20 bucks on the Xbox as well um, <coughs> So yeah, not massive, they didn't go kind of too bonkers with the scope of the game. They just crammed it full of, full of systems and kind of let the systemic nature of the game generate all the content, which is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, what do we say we do something? Well, that's bad timing, I'm pretty sure the sun's going down. But I'll be brave. Uh... Let's check out the status of the town first. Town, not, not down the uh, our little headquarters area. Um, so, how many resources do I have? I've only got three ammo left. I'll, I'll spend one on. Well done. Um, I can't seem to, sp to spend one on. Oh, there we go. Spend one on sniping zombies from the guard tower, which will give me a bit, bit of a wider safe area around my base. As you can see, that's him doing some stuff up there. And so that spot there, I'm pretty sure is my is my main quest line. But it's I've been I've scoped past it once, um, and there's a whole bunch of scary stuff in there that I can't really deal with yet. see a zombie on the map, I'm just going to check him out. Get out, stay out. Uh, so gunfire is pretty noisy as you can see, this is... he's kind of attracted some zombies. Uh, yeah, okay, I was going to show you 
the ridiculous wrestling moves, but he got shot in the head as I was in the middle of it. Um, so I'll spare you the, the boring stuff and actually try and kill something. So let's go and check out this scavenger. Um, so he just popped up on the map. I think that was the that was the kind of opportunistic quest that just popped up. So I'll check him out. Uh, just make sure I've got some weapons and stuff first. I do have a pistol which I've never used. Is this still working? Uh, pistols are quite loud, or guns in general are quite loud. Uh, so, and I, my dude has really poor gun skills, so I don't tend to use them. <clears throat> yeah, it's quite, it's quite different to some of the other zombie, zombie games I've played. Like, I don't know, every other game which seems to have zombies in it these days. Uh, you know, Dead, Dead Rising, Left 4 Dead, that sort of stuff. Here we go, let's see if I can inst insta-kill that guy with my mad, mad wrestling moves. So, as you can see, it's re reasonably easy to deal with individual zombies. Uh, but if you get more, more than about two on you at once, it gets pretty hairy. Um, it's also quite hard to regenerate your health. Um, Not now. It doesn't. Better hurry up. It uh, it doesn't regenerate by itself. So you use pills, a la Left 4 Dead, which gives you a little bit back. But to actually regenerate it, you've got to go back to your base and kind of sleep, chill out, uh, swap characters, whatever. And the more damage you take, you, your, your maximum health can go down as well. Which is potentially, a, I think, a permanent um, debuff. Which is pretty harsh. Um, it's just a pretty harsh game all around, really. Uh, another thing on the map, just there is a screamer, I think they're called. As you might imagine, you don't really want them to see you. Uh, zombies are attracted by sound and lights. So if a screamer goes off, you're pretty much boned. Uh, unless you're in a car. There are vehicles as well. I think it's I think this runs on the Cry Engine, Cry Engine three, I think or two maybe I don't know. Um, runs pretty well. It doesn't look amazing, uh, but you know for what it is. Runs pretty well. There's no loading screens in the middle of gameplay or anything. That that screamer is really starting to freak me out. I don't know where what his path is. Pretty much if he sees me, I've got to just run back to base, I think. Okay, I think he's going around to the left. So I should be able to duck down onto this. There are stealth bushes. Uh, as explained in the really brief tutorial at the start, if you... Well, not really explained even, it just says... If you crouch and go to a bush, then they can't see you. So I don't know how, how actually effective that is. So I went in there once and then turned my flashlight on. And they did see me. And they did kick my ass. Okay, I'm going to try and sneak behind this screamer. Hopefully he don't scream at me. Oh my god. There's a screamer and a whole pack of people with him. Oh, yeah. Okay. Is this this person's gonna be like on top of that mountain or something? It's probably quite boring to watch. I apologize. I just really don't want to go near that screamer because then it's 
I'm basically dead and it's game over. Oh, I don't, actually it's probably not game over, I'll swap to one of the other people in my camp. Um, but I've spent a bit of time with this guy. Kind of feel like we've got a connection. He's pretty well leveled up. Um, melee skills and stuff. Scope out what's going on. Okay, so there's the pack of zombies. Okay, let's roll. Roll out. So hopefully when I get to the survivor it will probably trigger some sort of event and we'll get a bit more action happening. Hey, over here. Hi Jessica. I've met her before. She lives on top of that hill just there. Pretty sure. Hey, I'm not greedy. You help me out, and half of anything we get is yours. If you're in a hurry, let me know. Uh, okay, so I can help her, if I help her go home, presumably to the same home as we've been before, which is up there. Um, I'll get half her st half the stuff that we get. I don't want to, I'm pretty sure as soon as I accept it, it's going to trigger a whole bunch of what zombies. Do you say? 50 -50 sound good? <coughs> I just really don't quiet. want it to also trigger that screamer down there. Because then I'm, I'm... Well, she's certainly dead, but I'm probably dead as well. Okay, guard the perimeter while she gathers. You can see some dots coming in on the map. Some zombies want some of this, want some of this action. Is that one or two zombies? Oh my god, it's two. Okay, that went better than normal. Uh, I only lost a little bit of health. I don't really know how to deal with more than one zombie if they're on top of each other quick. like that. We don't have time. I'm not leaving empty-handed. Do what you can. Here we go. Oops. Uh, resume. Finish it off. <laughs> you ready to go? Almost. Just give me a second. So if you're with a, a buddy and they See grab that? them like that, you can insta kill them. Better and better. Oh shit! There's heaps of them coming in. Oh, I'm in trouble. This is not good. This is not good. Zed's up ahead. Whoa! I'm not sure how I hit. I just hit her across the map. The physics bugged out or something. I hope she comes back. Holy crap! There's a lot of them coming. Oh, this is not good. Ow! 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 Yes, I know I'm wearing myself out. I don't really have a lot of option. <sighs> okay, we've got one left. Come on, buddy. Come on. Can't see anything. Basic. Okay. That's good. That's the best I've gone so far in a large battle. That was more than I've ever taken on before. But once. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here. Lead the way. Lead the way. Let's roll. Where does she want to go? Oh, that place. What was I looking at before? I'm sure they lived there before. Maybe she's moved house. Weird. Um, so yeah, I need a car. I need to get to one of these cars. Um, because walking through that bush with limited visibility is a really bad idea. As I've discovered. So I'm going to head down this way. What are these guys doing? Nice work, Jessica. Ok, 
Okay, try and get to her. She's got the supplies, right? Yeah, she does. Okay. Let's roll. The screamers are up there. Whoa, what just happened? Okay, I'm just alt tabbed for no apparent reason. It seems to do that sometimes. So yeah, combat pretty is deliberately pretty hard. Obviously to reinforce the themes of kind of uh, sneaking around rather than rather than your dead rising style going crazy blowing shit up with dynamite and walking into hordes of zombies with lawnmowers and stuff. Um, you can outrun zombies, but you have extremely limited stamina. So if there's like one or two of them and they're... then you can probably get away, but as you, if you run into more packs then you're dead. A lot of ways to die in this game. I'm just gonna leg it because. Heads up. Zombies on our left. Okay. <laughs> so I think I can deal with one or two. Where is that one on the map? Apparently there's a zombie there. I guess he's lying down on the ground or something. shitty old beaten up car that I left here before. So it's pretty cool. It's um pretty large open world, but unlike GTA, this seems to be a lot more permanent. I don't um, want to sound paranoid or anything, but do you have any idea how many So these are these are some of these are cars that I've left here before. These days, just about every place has security. Uh, and they're still in the same and state. A like a uh, damage wise and everything. I used to install the things for a living. Then they, when they, when I drop the them off. Ones can a hell of a lot so unlike GTA, it seems to. Wouldn't surprise me if this whole thing ends with all of us arrested. Kind of more of a feeling of permanence. Which is nice. It, the world doesn't just disappear as soon as the player turns it back. Zombies inside. This is not good. This, this is my fault. I'd have been here helping. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of them. Can't really see what's happening. I'm just kind of mashing the button. Kill it, kill it. Close the door. Phew. Okay, wait for my stamina to come back. Clear the area. I can see one zombie on the map just outside here. I'm gonna go and take take these guys out. Hopefully that'll count as clearing the area. <laughs> say good night. Well, shit. You okay? Come on, we gotta get going. Cool. So I guess that means we're going to have a new member of our crew. Seeing as all her people just got deaded. Oh my god, I can hear something happening outside. Something happening not good. Um now if you're carrying resources you can't you can't take it in a car. I don't believe. It seems like I just did though. Weird. Whoa! Oh, well, let's get out of here. Ah, you screamer, you don't scare me.
Not when I'm in a pickup truck. So I really hope that all these hordes don't actually follow me back to base. that thing. A little coffee shack. That's pretty cool. Oh, we've got heaps of food resources though. So it's not of much use to me. So yeah, I'm pretty sure the characters that were dead back there on the floor of her previous hideout um, I've actually met earlier. So I helped them out earlier and like did a mission for them and stuff. And was gaining their trust and hid in their base. Bang! Hid in their base for a while. Um, and like learned their backstories and stuff. Here we are. Okay, that's all we needed. And they're dead now, so that's pretty much it I guess. For them. And their storyline. So there we go, we've got a new person in our in our crew. Jessica Luna. So now we have a population of nine. Hey, how are you? I can get her to help me, Don't which is nice. Um so Jessica Luna. So she's got a whole bunch of stats. Reflexes, cardio. Unfortunately, I think that means that we now have more people than we have beds. How can I tell that? Beds 8, population 9. Need enough beds for everyone or they won't be rested. Well, obviously she doesn't get a bed. Uh, so yeah, there's a bit of a kind of mini game of choose where to build stuff in your base, choose what stuff to build. There's different actions you can take with each thing. Uh, there's a whole bunch of, um, you know, types that I haven't built yet. There's, you can upgrade these things, there seems to be upgrade trees. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Got to manage your resources. Hmm. Yeah, of course, I didn't think of that. Why do you need, why do you need only one person in a bed? Very good point. So yeah, um, what's this game called again? State of Decay. I was going to say Day Z. It's not Day Z. Um, yeah, so that's it. This is the game. Do missions, scavenge stuff, help people, uh, build up your base, try not to die. There's permadeath, which has already occurred to me. Uh, oh, she doesn't show up in here anymore. I think before there was a there was a dead person in here. Um, so I had a character who was quite good with firearms, which would have been nice, but then I had to go and have her eaten by a zombie. So that's the end of that. So yeah, cool game. Lots of upgrades and stuff. Uh, very different and kind of, I think, a lot more interesting than most of the other zombie themed games in terms of general gameplay. Uh, I like the idea of building up a base, hiding out in it, barricading the windows when the zombies run in. It's cool. So that's it. State of Decay. Buy it. It's 20 bucks. Uh, I think it's been on sale for 10 bucks a couple of times. That's well worth that. So buy it and then play it and then say that was a fun game to play. To play. And then delete it. Cool. Thanks for watching.